Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. Before we start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My handle is at Beth Roars and I hold loads of votes on my Instagram so you guys can vote on who I react to. Also, please do check out my website, BethRoars.com, where you can book a singing lesson from me. And last but not least, please do head over to my Patreon, which is Patreon.com slash Beth Roars, where you can get some more exclusive content, you can get early access to my podcast, and you can find out a little bit more about my scholarship fund for aspiring artists. This one has been asked for loads in the comments. Let's just listen. It sounds beautiful, yet sad. Oh, I love her green dress. It's like bonds, but oh no, wonderful. So she chose her stage name by pointing blindfold at a map of Andalusia. Rocio. Oh, she's so fabulous. Sing us a song. You can hear how her voice is aged, but it still has passion. It still feels like it comes from emotion and that is the most important thing about singing. And often people forget that. They're too wrapped up in the technique. And I love technique. I'm a vocal coach, but I love to hear these singers just sing from their soul. For example, And Latin singers are the best at this. Look how open her mouth is. Oh. I love that. <laughs> Using a bit of mic technique so you just get the cut of the mic so the sound kind of swishes past. Now look how open her mouth is, her tongue is nice and relaxed in her mouth, it isn't pulling back or anything like that. She is kind of changing between a really warm sort of sound and then a really forward placed punchy sound and that this is how she's getting this kind of beautiful relaxed warmth and then suddenly it punches through. And this, uh, it's like a yawn, beautiful yawn. So this is where she's adding a little bit of what we call twang, this ah uh, ah uh, sort of sound to get these higher notes, to make them a little bit more punchy, to give them a bit more oomph. Now, she learned from the best. She worked with the best. Her first job was working with Camilo Sesto, and then later on in that year, she worked with Juan Gabriel, and they did an album together. So she really has had an awesome career. The dynamics are great. Big and then small. And then up to her head voice there. 
So she's punching those consonants to make it bouncy and staccato. She's using all these little nuances, smooth legato phrases, staccato, short, punchy, accented phrases. Then she's going up into her head voice light. Then she's loud and twangy and then brings it back down to a breathy place, different tones. That's, oh. Just playing the voice. I love the strings in this as well. Those runs, those runs, they're amazing. They're amazing. You want to get those. How do you get those sounding so slick? Again, uh, often you hear music, these are overdone a bit. These sound like they're just going and going, but this is like, oh, uh, here's my emotion. And the only way I can express it is by a really slick run. Now, how do you do it? You slow it down. You get it perfect. Each note absolutely perfect, but very slow. And speed it up and speed it up and speed it up until it just rolls away like that. Ooh, that tone. Oh, it's so like dramatic. Do you see how she uses vibrato as well? She's using it to add extra oomph, I suppose, extra zhuzh to a note. So often she'll be like, smooth, 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 no vibrato. And then when she wants it to sound big and emotional, ah, she adds that vibrato in there to give it that feeling of, I'm about to cry. like a powerhouse voice, isn't it? It's kind of sad, but you want to dance at the same time as like a celebration of someone's life and if you don't know this is a song about mourning a loved one it's really back place no so you might want to do this differently. You might want to do it like her. If you really want this na 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 na, you want to try an ooh sort of sound. Go 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 go. Try it on that and then feel how that feels and then keep it there. Na 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 instead of na 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 na. Both are valid in terms of placement and tone. However, they give different effects. It gives that breathiness to it. Which probably isn't as loud as you think it is. So she said she was never ambitious to be a star. She could have been a hairdresser, which is, uh, I guess sometimes people just have that amazing talent. So there's rumours as to what the song was written about and 
one of the rumors is it was her son. It's about her son who died of drowning. However, it also could have been about Juan Gabriel's mother who passed away as well. So there are rumors as to both. If you know the answer, put it in the comments. I love how the backing vocalist is keeping her tone, or if it's a, a track. The finish so understated. Another classic, another powerhouse, someone who knows how to express emotion and that really is the core of music. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.